Hello. Today I will discuss about the histology of the prostate gland. The prostate gland is the largest accessory sex gland. It is located below the neck of the bladder and the prostatic part of the urethra passes through the prostate gland and prostatic part of the urethra also receives the ejaculatory duct that is formed by the union of the seminal vesicle and the vas deferens. It is a fibromuscular glandular organ. It is a, it has capsule that is composed of connective tissue and it has stroma. Stroma is composed of fibrous tissue and smooth muscle tissue. So it is fibromuscular glandular organ. It contains tubular acinar glands. We have the main gland at the peripheral zone. We have the submucosal gland in the central zone. And we have the mucosal gland at the transitional zone. Okay. So what are the identifying points? This is an encapsulated accessory genital gland, largest genital gland. Identification contains tubulo SNR glands. These are the glands. Glands are embedded in fibromuscular stroma. This is fibromuscular stroma. Fibromuscular stroma contain fibrous tissue like fibrocyte, fibroblast, and smooth muscle. The smooth muscle contracts at ejaculation. Individual glands may converse, but all of them open into the prosthetic part of the urethra. We may get prosthetic concretion in some of the slides. Here it is not shown the prosthetic concretions. Prosthetic concretions, also called corporamalacia, it is present in the older individual, prostate of the older individual, it is formed by the concretion of the glycoprotein and the keratin and the keratin sulfate. Okay, so here we are looking here, here is the corpora amylacea or prosthetic concretion. And we are looking at the gland. These are the tubular gland, and they are lined by columnar epithelium or pseudo stratified columnar epithelium. Even in some places, maybe simple squamous epithelium. The epithelium is supported by lamina propria, that is loose connective tissue. So, epithelium supported by lamina propria epithelium is the glandular epithelium they are forming the gland the parenchyma of the gland and these are the columnar or pseudo stratified columnar epithelium maybe in some places simple squamous epithelium the gland contains the concretion called corpora amylacea Okay, so this is what we are seeing here. This is the large magnification, different staining. In our previous staining was hematoxylin eosin. This is the mallory stain here. And it gives the tissue red color. This is the concretion in an individual. It may be around two millimeter in, in diameter. And this is laminated concretion formed by the glycoprotein and keratin sulfate. Lining epithelium of the gland is the pseudostratified columnar, maybe columnar. Here it is columnar, here it is pseudostratified columnar, supported by the lamina propria. This is lamina propria, that is the loose connective tissue.
Prostatic secretion, fibrinolysin, glycoprotein, acid phosphatase, that is the enzyme, prostaglandin, citric acid, PSA, means prostatic specific antigen. Secretion is regulated by dihydrotestosterone. So, hormone is important factor to control the secretion of the prostate gland. Clinical application, prostatitis, inflammation of the prostate, benign hyperplasia of the prostate, usually the periurethral part, the part which surround the prostatic part of urethra, there is increase in the soft tissue there, that is the benign hyperplasia of the prostate, and it may sometimes obstruct the passage of the urine, that may lead to retention of urine. Carcinoma of the prostate, that is usually adenocarcinoma, that is a very common male cancer. In all three cases, the prostatic specific antigen will be high in the blood. Prostatic specific antigen is dispersed to the blood and that's the tissue. Prostatic specific antigen is also a part of the secretion of the prostate that goes through the prostatic urethra during ejaculation. Now we'll solve some Bhaiba Bose questions. What is the location of prostate gland? It is located below the neck of the bladder. Its size is around 2 into 3 into 4 centimeter. What is the identifying point for the prostate? It has capsule fibromuscular stroma that contains smooth muscle, gland, gland is lined by the columnar epithelium or pseudostatified columnar epithelium, gland may contain corpora amylacea or prostatic concretion, especially in the older specimen, in the specimen from the old individual, old male. What is the importance of corpora amylacea? We exactly don't know, but it is, it may be a part of aging process. How the stroma of the prostate gland is formed? Formed by the fibrous tissue and the smooth muscle, which is fibromuscular. Where do the prostate gland open? Prostate glands open into the prostate urethra. What type of glands are present in the prostate gland? We have the tubular acinar gland. These are around 30 to 50 in number. So 30 to 50 tubular acinar glands. What is the lining epithelium of the prostate gland? It may be columnar epithelium, it may be pseudostatified columnar epithelium. What is the prostatic concretion of corpora amylaceum? This is the hard substance formed inside the gland of the prostate. Okay, and it is around 2 millimeter. It is formed by the by the laminated appearance and hard concretion of the glycoprotein and the keratin sulfate. Okay. What is the secretion of prostatic gland and what are their function? They secretes the acid phosphatase, prostaglandin, fibrinolysin, and prostatic specific antigen and citric acid. What is the secretion of the prostate gland? Its function, function, they liquefy the, the semen, the spermatozoa content of the semen, they liquefy the semen and also they add the bulk of the semen. What is PSA, prostatic specific antigen? What is its importance? It is increased in case of prostatitis, benign hyperplasia of the prostate and prostatic cancer. Okay. Okay, so these are the references and that, that's all about the histology of the prostate gland. If you like my video, please support my channel. Please subscribe me and have a nice day. Bye now.